Okay, let's continue our review of HL7 information with HL7 message structure. An HL7 message is composed of segments. A segment is a collection of data elements relating to one particular aspect of a message. In other words, a segment is a section of a message that contains related data. For example, one section of the message will contain data that identifies the patient the message is about. The section will contain the patient's first name, the patient's last name, the patient's medical record number, age, date of birth, etc. That would be the PID section, patient ID. Other sections, segments in the message, will contain other related data. For an order message, there will be a segment that contains all the order information, like what doctor ordered the test, what test is to be performed, what time is to be done, etc. Each segment is identified by a three-letter code. The three-letter code will be at the beginning of each segment. Common segment IDs are MSH, the message header, EVN, event information, PID, patient identification, PV1, patient visit information. Here's a message with the segment IDs in bold for you. What information is contained in the NK1 segment? Well, it's obviously the next of kin information. Do you see how the segment IDs give you a clue as to what's in that segment? Each segment can be broken down further into fields. Message fields are separated by a vertical bar. The vertical bar is called a pipe. So messages are made of segments. Segments are made up of fields. The space between two pipes is a field. The fields are numbered from left to right in a segment. So let's take a look at the EVN segment. So EVN1 is A01. EVN-2 2013-01-01-1223. EVN3 is blank. Even though there's nothing between those last two pipes, it still counts as a field. Sometimes a field needs to have more than one data element in it. When this happens, each data element is separated by a caret. A caret is called a hat. Take a look at this PID segment. So, Notice how PID5 contains the patient's last name, first name, middle initial, and suffix, all separated by hats. His name is John A. Appleseed III. So in the PID segment, you see that PID5-1 is Appleseed. PID52 is John. PID53 is A. And PID54 is the third. When a number, sorry, when a field is separated by hats, each field component is expressed as the field number plus the number of field components, hence the 5.15.253, 5.4 .5 designations. So, the pipe and the hat are the two most important encoding characters. However, there are several more, which we'll learn about next week. Also, the method of counting fields works for all segments except the MSH segment. The MSH segment has special rules relating to the encoding characters. We'll talk about that next.